need and all right let's start over that really sucked yeah <laughs> yeah it wasn't very good it was just blah 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 rambling yeah. rambling rambling, rambling. <laughs> no yeah. energy and ramble they love that on tv youtubers love it people cannot get enough of low energy rambling <laughs> I think that's the best that you can do on YouTube. So we're going to switch our format up a little bit, go to low energy rambling. I'll just start babbling when I'm in bed. You can videotape me. It'll be really good. All you have to do is like put that little tweak change in with the editing that everybody does. And then uh, we'll go viral. So I'm very excited about this. You guys are getting the insight behind the scenes. y'all welcome to make your space i'm cortisa and i'm larry we are so pumped about entering into 2019 with you guys and going on this journey of making home your favorite place to be we have just completed introducing you to our seven simple steps hey and wait a minute why are you taller than i am really That's in real life oh, <clears throat> hold on i think you're sitting on a pillow or something mm -hmm. okay proceed now we are going to introduce you to the Shidrix. We're taking a little bit of a break. We'll go back to, of course, finishing our home and helping you guys make home your favorite place to be this year. But for now, we want to tell you a little bit more about who we are. Yeah. So we're going to show you a little bit about our family, having little buddies and teenagers together, homeschooling, uh, all the activities we're doing, and then also trying to do the YouTube channel on top of all that. So. Hopefully you'll get a little glimpse of the craziness behind the scenes, not too much, <laughs> right. but a little bit. And then also we want to share a little bit about our past and how we got to this point. So yeah. uh, let's go ahead and get started. So addressing the first question of how we met, which I do get a lot, people say, especially my friends, they wonder how did you guys end up together? How did we first meet? Well, I will tell you. It was a cold, windy morning, Sunday morning. We were at church. We were both serving. I was bringing some children into the youth ministry where Cortisa was. And I saw, he saw me. And then from across the room. I saw him. Um, I didn't see her right away. Then I heard like this noise, almost like someone stumbling, tripping over something. And then I looked and there she was kind of losing her balance. I'm not sure what it was. It was a medical condition or something like that, but um, she did end up falling to the ground. So then I went over to her and helped pick her up and you know, said, are you okay? And then she kind of like was a little woozy and looked up and then she kind of went out again after she saw me. So that was our initial meeting. Um, it was very strange, but after that- I Just kept seeing them around church after that all the time and uh then had more conversations with other people and then one day i don't really remember either of us asking the other one but we ended up at bennigan's and um the first thing i remember about that time at bennigan's was her actually directing me into the parking spot i thought to myself hmm, that's weird i've never had anybody including my mom direct me into a parking spot but that was great it was really fun i was hesitant at first um I definitely was not planning to marry outside of my race, so that was a little hard for me, a little challenging, because that wasn't in my... Conversation was great. We had a wonderful time. I mean, she's a beautiful, intelligent young lady. And when we left that conversation, I knew that she was going to be moving to Washington, D.C., marrying a tall, black, bald man who was in accounting. I heard that little voice, and it was just like, he's the one. He's your husband. So I listened to the little voice, and I'm glad I did. Well, so as you can see, two people in the same exact situation can have completely different perspectives. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what was your biggest issue from our first year? Or one thing that stuck out that was, well, I'll just where say I kind of failed. I'll say one thing that bugged me was you didn't make a big, a bigger deal out of our first anniversary. You didn't make a any deal out of it really and so that that kind of, that really bugged me yeah i know i'm, I'm kind of a forward thinker so we, we were married so let's move <laughs> on to the next thing no, that's just more than you're 20. no, no reason, like we're, no like we're reason to accelerate special. that it's fine we just keep moving because there's something else going to be around the corner right. so um yes and i think you know 
that I think from that because you just I remember you you know you talked to me about that is there was so many things early on that I just just wasn't even on my radar I just had no idea mm -hmm. and um, but you just keep at it right you don't yeah you just, right. I guess kept at it so um, almost 20 years later I've closed a couple of those loopholes not a lot of them yeah. though yeah you don't let so. those sort of and then too you have to there are going to be unmet expectations and mm -hmm. you have to realize that we're not nobody's perfect and we're not perfect and like you said you're going to fail sometimes but you have to be um willing to forgive and ask for forgiveness i think that's the biggest thing just forgiveness yeah because there's always times like another thing that i always think about is never wanting to go to bed mad yeah and there's yeah. been several times where i've been like kind of ticked or you know mildly frustrated a couple times i've been really frustrated mm -hmm. um and didn't want to still got into bed i really wanted to just go to sleep and be mad but <laughs> you know, we talked it out, right? Because yeah. you want to be mad. Yeah. We get, you, you do, know, you do. Oh, I don't want to let it go. Forget yeah. about that. They didn't meet my expectations. I don't right. want to let that so, go. But I think that's been good for us. I think we've been a, done a good job with that most of the time, so that's been really helpful. I don't even know how to address this one, but I've had a bouncy financial career, <laughs> if we could put it that way. <laughs> I'm revealing that on um, say, on really YouTube. Want to I don't think we do, but I'm going to do yeah, it. I think I think you might want to go. So route. yeah, <laughs> so I know that that has been something that's been tough. Mm -hmm. um, but and I didn't always know the right way to go. But you you keep you keep plugging along, and you always supported me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Into a couple of bad decisions. <laughs> I did. But, but I gave you warnings, yeah, and that's the thing. But, but the warning can't be on like a little piece of paper inside of a uh, fortune <laughs> cookie I may or may not open. It's got to be a little bit more, you know, right here. Like, dude, you're about to drive off the cliff. Take a look. So um, that thing we've learned about communication yeah, over that, our marriage that, is that um, one of us, me, needs a little bit more <laughs> conversation. Right? Because right. I'll be like, hey, it's cool. <laughs> So I need help sometimes in that direction. So yeah. and so um, I've learned to. This coffee's really good at four in the morning. <laughs> it's really pepping me up. I've learned to be a little bit more direct in my communication with my husband because I I realize now that he needs that and yep. that's and so you you learn things about each other and you make adjustments um, to help because helping the other person really helps you. Yep. Yeah. It's. Um... It is, it keeps your eyes off yourself. So right, I think right. that, um, I don't know that we have a lot to offer. <laughs> <laughs> um, like we're gonna do any marriage videos or anything like right? that. No, um, no, probably not. But, you know, I think that's one thing, just the mm -hmm. forgiveness. I think that's uh, uh, something that's really challenging for all of us to do at times. But mm -hmm. if you wanna have the opportunity to continue being strong in your relationship, forgiveness is, yeah. I can't think of a really more powerful way to do it. So, As you guys probably know already, we have five amazing kiddos and people always make comments that we have our hands full and yes, we do. Three little boys and two teenage girls. Yes. The, the best of both worlds, really. Yeah, I've always wanted a big family. That was something I wanted when I was a teenager because I loved the idea of it. And I always loved the idea of adoption. So I wanted to have three and adopt two. That was my original plan. Mm -hmm. The plan went a little bit different than we were anticipating. We had our first two pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Zoe here in Brindley. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm 15. Hi, I'm Brindley and I'm 13. Yeah, never happened. A child never came available that we, um, for us to adopt. And, and so that was disappointing. And then we weren't getting pregnant. And so we just thought, well, maybe it was really hard, but we thought maybe it was just meant for us to only have two. Mm -hmm. So I think we had to come to a place where we were okay either way. And then it was funny because once, once I finally did get to that place, then we actually got pregnant. <laughs> lost that baby yeah 
which was um, extremely, extremely hard yeah. for our family. Yeah.